giant crowds gather in the streets of Cairo calling for the overthrow of the president. 500 kilometers to the south, a team from Basel University makes not one, but two remarkable discoveries. In the Valley of the Kings in Luxor, almost unnoticed, the team stumble on a tomb containing the remains of more mummies than had ever been discovered before in the valley. The fact that we have so many individuals, roughly 30 people buried in this one tomb, is absolutely unique. And as they begin to investigate this amazing find, they discover something even more remarkable, a new tomb. We had now something that we were the first. It's only the second new tomb to have been discovered in the Valley of the Kings since Tutankhamun. As their excavations continue, these tombs will turn out to throw a revealing new light on a king who many consider Egypt's greatest pharaoh, Tutankhamun's grandfather, Amenhotep III. Amenhotep III was really the most important pharaoh in all of Egypt's history. He was the wealthiest, most powerful ruler in the entire ancient world. And they helped to explain why some have called him the pharaoh with a thousand wives. He's the love of my youth, of course. <laughs>